Let's bring in America's accountant, accounting professor from Montclair State University, Dan Geltrude. Good morning, Dan. Thanks for joining us. Good morning, Sarah. Now, Dan, the Dow drops 162 points while the S&P 500 falls six points. The Nasdaq adds six points after tech stocks make a comeback. So what are your thoughts on the markets yesterday and so far this year? So the markets yesterday actually made a uh, bit of a comeback by the end of the day because they were really taking quite a hit. Now, why was that happening? Well, I think it relates to interest rates. Surprise, surprise. I think investors are realizing that there are going to be interest rate hikes coming from the Fed. With that said, what's the impact going to be? Well, you're going, you are going to have investors moving out of equities probably into areas like bonds where they're going to have a fixed rate of return and reduce their risk a little bit more palatable or adding to diversity of those portfolios. So I think the market could be uh, looking ahead to some some rough waters, I would say. OK, well, Federal Reserve Vice Chair will step down on Friday, Dan. And he had just a few weeks left on his term and has been under fire a lot lately for some of the trades that he has made in the beginning of the pandemic. So tell us why has he chosen to step down now? Well, what's come to light here is that there were some uh, trades that were made within a few days of each other. Uh, you know, uh, uh, selling and then buying back, presumably on non-public information, which, based on the rules, it doesn't seem like there was anything illegal. However, he didn't initially disclose that, and that came out recently because he did have to make a correction on his financial disclosures. And therefore, that is, you know, drawing some scrutiny, which it should. Look, here's the bottom line. You want to stop this? nonsense of people moving on non-public information, people in the Federal Reserve, people in Congress. You're not allowed to trade stocks and investments. You have to be in a blind trust if you want to be in those positions. Very simple. OK, speaking of the Federal Reserve, Dan, Goldman Sachs expected a f uh, four Fed rate hikes this year. So when do you think the, think the Fed raises int interest rates and the impact that will have on Americans? I think that's going to start probably in March. Now, whether there's going to be three or four or more, we'll have to see. But what is this about? This is about inflation, Sarah, because if the Fed fails to act, they're realizing that inflation can really get out of control. The other side of this, though, is raising interest rates could very well throw the economy into a recession. So there's really not a good option here. So uh, the Fed has to do what it has to do. And, and the impact of this, well, if we go into a recession, that's going to put a lot of hurt on a lot of people. Well, I don't know how big of a fan you are of plant-based food, but I certainly am. And another chain restaurant is adding plant-based food to its menu. Blimpy is. It's adding plant-based meatball parmesanas, and they're going to be available up until April 23rd. So, Dan, do you see this trend of plant-based products continuing and do you, in more places? And are you likely to try them? That's the more important question. <laughs> Well, uh, here's what I think about that. Uh, do I think the trend is going to continue? Yes, it will, because I believe people believe it's healthier. I don't know if it's exactly healthier. If you take a plant and you can make it taste like a meatball, I, that process doesn't seem natural to me. So will I try it? I might, just to check it out. But is it really on my hit list as a priority? Not really. Well, I think you should give it a try, Dan, because I know that I certainly am going to. Plant-based food, it's better for the environment and it's better for your soul, even if it's probably not good, better for your health. Anyway, Dan Geltrude, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Sarah.